These are found objects. No tools apart from a camera, no glue, no hidden structure, no tricks, just patience. A pebble on a beach or a leaf on a tree fills a role. However, choosing that object and altering its position and placement challenges that role. The found object reveals found potential, even if that found potential is also a projection of what is inside the viewer. This potential may be an aesthetic of form and colour, or it may be a suggestion of imagery in the form of a person or, or perched birds. It may be that it reveals a dynamic of vulnerability as it balances yet independent confidence as it stands defiant against the sea and sky. What is seen depends largely on the viewer as well as the artist. This is how I understand art. Not in the artefact, not in the creation, not in the viewing, but in the dialogue between these parts. It is at this dialogue that keeps art alive over hundreds and thousands of years. It's what makes the movement of a found stone into drama. It's what makes the unnoticed inanimate object into a living and personal experience. It is not just the object that is found. It is also the setting and how they relate to each other. Sometimes this can join more than one object into a singular form, as if the dynamic of art is stronger than the rock itself.